Kevin here, walking along on a Monday evening, the end of a long weekend here in Japan. And uh, yeah, just here on the J Lane Kev channel, I want to talk to you guys, have a chat. Just gonna make a vloggity vloggity, haven't done that in a while, it's Babylon. Um, I, I had a great day with my family, great, great few days with my family today. Uh, we were supposed to go to a barbecue today in Osaka, and it uh, would have taken quite a long time to get there by a train, so we decided to take a boat called the Bay Shuttle, which um, goes from Kobe Airport to Kansai Airport. From there, we'd take a train, and that would have been much faster. And my kid would have, my, my kid, my kids, more specifically my boy, would have a chance to um, ride on a, on, a, on a speedboat across Osaka Bay. My daughter's too young to have any idea what's going on. Um, and we, so the, the barbecue got canceled just because my friend who was going to host the barbecue, her, her daughter got suddenly very sick, so we couldn't go. Um, but, you know, we'd already bought the tickets for the boat, so we decided, let's take the boat and we'll go to Kansai Airport and hang out. And they've got like a big outdoor observatory where you can watch the you know, airplanes land and take off. So that's what we did. It was great. It was awesome. I'm having a beer. Mm. It's cold and yummy. Um, but it was, it was really great. Now, yesterday... Um, that same friend had actually given us a, a ticket, a day pass, for something called the Kobe City Loop Bus Tour, which is like a tourist bus that goes around the town. My son and I took it, and we got off at Shin Kobe Station, which is a Shinkansen station, like the bullet train station. <clears throat> and uh, we, we got off there, and <clears throat> we walked up to this like bridge where you could like, kind of look down and through like, a metal grating and see the, the bullet trains going by. And my wife called me up and said, hey, Kevin... Um, you know, the Dr. Yellow is going to be coming through at 12.12. Well, Dr. Yellow is this elusive train that all the, the train buffs in Japan just love to see. Very rare to see. It's like a diagnostics train. It's a bullet train. It's a, it's a smaller... What the hell is that? Grasshopper just landed on my hand. Ah. Um, uh, um, so it tests like the tracks and the wiring, the electrical and stuff, and sees if everything's okay. Very hard to find, but, but for some reason, my wife and her mommy friends have web, know of websites where they always know the schedule of these trains. If, now, if you go to a, a Shinkansen station and ask when the trains will come in, they'll say they, they, they won't tell you. Um, so I bought like a ticket. It's 140 yen. That's about a buck fifty. You can just go and sit on the train platform in the bullet train station for uh, a couple of hours and watch trains come and go. And uh, that's what we did, and we saw it, man. It was really awesome. So what I'm getting at, I'm just talking about, I, I, I was thinking about legacy. Kind of, kind of connected to fatherhood. And how, and of course I could be a better father, man. There's a million things I could do to be a better father. But I try hard to be a good dad to my son and my daughter. And I think a lot of that motivation has to do with, with an ambulance. A lot of that motivation has to do with my own father. Um, who is a great father and when I was growing up was a great father and I have a lot of fond memories connected to things my dad did with me and my brother and things he taught us and different rituals we had in our house kind of thing I don't mean like rituals like you know sacrificing a goat or anything like that we didn't do those kind of rituals I mean things like reading to us at night different kind of Christmas things, like for example, you know, Christmas time. Yeah, I grew up in a Catholic house. We we never bought decorations. We never bought pre-manufactured decorations for our Christmas tree or our house in a store. We made everything by hand. So we had a lot of craft time in my house, where we would sit down together as a family and make crafts. And I, especially now as an adult, I look back at that how wonderful that is. And what's really amazing is I go and I visit my parents' house and they can open up like a big box of Christmas decorations and they, they can tell you the story behind every decoration. They, there's a story connected to each one and I think that's an amazing family history, a family legacy. Um, that, that's just incredible. And now that I'm a parent, I want to... I want to, I want to parent the same way that my parents parented. Um, because I really think they did a good job. Um, I don't know, so I just, I'm just kind of feeling this nostalgia recently and, and working hard to try to I mean one thing like if you watch my Busan Kevin channel the other day put like an everyday life my, my new kind of series everyday life in Japan of, of me making pizza and I, 
you can see my son was helping me make it. And again, one of those amazing memories I have as a child is my dad would make pizza from scratch as well. And um, sometimes we would help make it. And, uh, you know, pizza night at my house was such a big deal. Especially because, like, I grew up in a very small, kind of rural town in eastern Canada at the time. Um, when I was a young kid, we didn't have any pizza shops around where we could actually buy pizza. So, you, you know, you had to make it if you wanted it. And pizza from scratch, like dough from scratch, crust from scratch, tastes better than anything anyway. Um, any store-bought stuff. So yeah, um, so I know that my pizza tastes better than most stuff you could buy. <laughs> Pat myself in the back there, but it's, it's kind of the, the connection, the memories, the, the experience of creating a pizza with your dad um, at your house. That's kind of what I want my son to take from it. Yeah, so I don't know, just feeling nostalgic, wanted to kind of talk about legacy and this and that. And, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I suppose it did not necessarily have to be connected to your family. I mean, you've got friends who did cool things in your life or teachers or professors and, you know, social circles, you know, there's maybe things that you want to continue, uh, you want to kind of model after what they did. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, but all right, guys, Kevin here, Jalen and Kev, uh, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I always appreciate when you guys take a chance to watch and listen.